Hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. Aave has pulled back very, very deep into support. Um, we've had obviously our trend reversal area here in March, so early March, around the 10th, yeah, where the price did reverse, did turn around, rallied in five waves, counted it as an Elliott wave, uh, wave one, yeah, and then here possibly an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down. Right, and now we are deep in support. I mean, it's phenomenal reward to risk ratio here. Don't get me wrong, but the thing is, it needs to, a pretty immediate turn to the upside now, or it will risk invalidation. Now, invalidation will not occur until it breaks below the 6450 level, yeah? um, because this is the beginning of the wave one. Only really then you have an invalidation of a wave two. Um, However, as uh, experience tells me, it's sort of nine out of 10, one, two trade setups, long trade setups as in this, in this case, fail eventually if the price breaks meaningfully below the 78.6 retracement of the wave one. Now, what does it mean, meaningful break? Well, it just means it goes below it and consolidates below support. It hasn't happened yet. And if price goes immediately back above the 78.6 retrace, they typically have a chance. But so far, it's looking a little bit poor, poorly. Um, looks a bit weak, but we know how it works. These guys can turn around at an instant. We've seen that so many times. Um, but yeah, for now, there isn't really this strong sign that it's gonna turn around. A possible descending wedge here. Um, ideally, it's turning around now, yeah? I mean. If it drops below that level, and I will, by the way, highlight it now in orange because there's a high risk of breaking here. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably get another low as well. So what happens here, right? So we can add the 88.7 FIP level. That's sort of the last level, really, where I would trust it to reverse. It's already dangerous, that area. Um, it's even deeper in support. I mean, again, it would be below the 78.6 retracement, so it's not ideal. But it can still turn around there, yes, but it's really like the last exit for the bulls. Um, it really needs to turn around there. So if it drops below that, there isn't really any more space between the price and the invalidation point. And by having a break below the 88.7, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty much a done deal that uh, we will get invalidation, right? I mean, nothing is ever for certain in these markets. It's just that it's very likely then. I mean, looking at this subwave price action, you could say that we have in this wave two, obviously an ABC structure, A wave, B wave, the C wave to the downside. And yeah, in the C wave, I mean, we could argue that we had here an, um, let me think, an ending diagonal possibly. So this could have been a wave one. Here then the wave two. Um, let me think. We would have to have possibly even this as a three. So basically an ABC in one, the wave two, then an ABC in three, then the four. And this could be also an ABC with one more low. I mean, I haven't given up hope here. Yeah, um, but I also don't want to create hopium. I mean, it's all about trading reward risk, right? And this is a phenomenal reward to risk ratio. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we are so deep in support. Um, it is reasonable in my opinion, and I'm not telling you to do it, absolutely not, because this is risky now, because we are so deep in support, but on the other hand, it's high reward, low risk from a, um, from a, you know, what in, what in terms of what you would gain compared to your loss if the trade works out, but it is more risk in terms of probability because probabilities suggest this could now easily break. But if you, if you look at this, I mean, let me, get this, um, oh, I might look at the one second. Um, where's my little tool? Oh, here, yeah, so if I look at long position, let's say, you know, we enter a long position here. Um, we will identify target in a minute. And stop loss wise, I mean, there are different options here, depending on how much risk people wanna take. So some people might choose to set the stop loss below the 78.6 retrace. You obviously get, you know, risk being stopped out if there's a wick down and, and so on. The 88.7, that's another option, or even below the March low. I mean, below the March low, you've got invalidation anyway. So, but what would be the target for a third wave if it works out? So we measure the length of the wave one, we go to the low of the wave two, 
and we talk about $96 as a minimum for the third. So we then talk about a reward to risk ratio of 4.7. Yeah, and bear in mind what I've done here is to measure the minimum target for a third wave and I've really extended out the stop loss. Now you can set the stop loss much tighter and you suddenly get a reward to risk of 10. Yeah, and if it rallies even higher, then you get an even better. So again, this is um, decent, but obviously, can I promise it's gonna hold? No, of course not. And eventually you need to make your own decisions. Yeah, I can only tell you the price levels and ranges where price by using the Elliott Wave method and the FIP levels, where price will with a high likelihood reverse. But it's all about likelihoods and probabilities. Unfortunately, there are no certainties and it's no exact science. Um, it's all about probabilities, all right? So yeah, that's the situation we are in. Um, also, what is interesting, let me just double check something on the four hour chart. Yeah, I don't see it on the four hour, but do I see it on the one hour? Yes, so what you often get is when you have an ABC correction, that the the, um, the C wave, yeah, the RSI is higher, the reading on the RSI is less extreme than it was in the A wave. So there is a good sign that we might be turning around here soon, but again, it's, it's a bit too early to really confirm that, um, but it's something to watch. Okay, so that's the best uh, assessment I can give you here at the moment about Aave. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.